that when you look at the azimuthal equidistant flat earth map is that when you look at the azimuthal equidistant flat earth map live in a three-dimensional world. Everything we see and touch is a three-dimensional object, having a length, width, and height. Our planet is also a 3D object, a sphere. The problem is that most maps are in only two dimensions, length and width. Even 3D mapping tools are only simulations. There is no depth. If that's the case, how can the Earth be accurately mapped? With an orange, the skin can be peeled and flattened. Our planet can't be peeled back. Instead, map projections are used for creating maps. How is this done? Features of the 3D Earth are projected onto different shapes, such as cones, cylinders, even flat surfaces or planes, or other shapes. To be successful in GIS, it's important to know about map projections. Mathematical scale solves the size problem, but getting rid of distortion is another mathematical challenge. So here's the problem, what we uh, professional cartographers refer to as the orange peel problem. You want to map what's on the outside of it onto a piece of flat paper. If you take the skin of the earth off it, and put it down on the ground, it's not flat. It isn't a flat thing. I mean, as much as you try to flatten it, it, it uh, kind of sticks up. And this is the problem that all cartographers have to deal with, all people who make maps. It's a basic geometry problem. Over thousands of years, cartographers have devised clever formulas that describe how points from one surface can be transferred to another. Some project these points onto a cylinder. Others project them on a cone. Still others project points directly to the plane. But there's no perfect way to flatten the Earth. Every projection has some distortion. A famous example is a map made by Gerardus Mercator in 1569. Any line drawn across it would show a constant compass direction, and for centuries, sailors used it to chart courses around the world. Mercator's become synonymous with map. Mercator equals map. Most schoolrooms had Mercator projections in them. People even knew the name Mercator. I mean, he was a famous person. 
An example of the uh, huge distortion on Mercator maps is shown here with Greenland. Uh, Greenland is actually the size of Mexico. And so you can see how enormous it's got here because of the distortion of the particular projection that was never meant to show the relative sizes of the countries, was meant as a navigational tool. And so you can see how enormous it's got here because of the distortion of the particular projection that was never meant to show the relative sizes of the countries, was meant as a navigational tool.